In ancient times, the gods of men, those undead vampires, ruled mankind in the light. It is also said that these very same gods created man genetically. Ancient people served the undead, not only out of fear, but out of loyalty, because it was common knowledge among ancient man that they too had the option of rising out of the human condition and becoming vampires themselves. Daily contact between the two races was common in those times. This ruling class of vampires has long guided humanity, politically, culturally, and even genetically. This hierarchy, also known as the Hidden Masters, has repeatedly broken the human spirit in order to maintain control of the masses. Much of what we call history is nothing more than the deliberate manipulation of global politics by this hierarchy. Make no mistake, their kind is extremely hierarchical. This elite has long sought to increase our numbers as a rancher oversees cattle to ensure themselves a food source. This overpopulation is soon to be checked by a massive harvest where billions will die and release such life force as to quote unquote open gates to other worlds. The details of this I do not know. It is also said that the vampire's golden age of ruling man in the open came to an end with the coming of the quote unquote renegades. The renegades, some of which apparently remain to this day, are an organized group of vampires who still have a soft spot for humans. This group apparently led armies of humans into the temples of the gods and destroyed them, forcing the hierarchy underground. The members of the renegades are generally younger vampires who had only recently undergone the ritual of death and rebirth. My guess is, when the time of the renegades comes to an end, the hierarchy will once more rule in the light. This hierarchy has gone by many names throughout the ages, but today they are known as the Illuminati. The Illuminati is an organized collection of satanic secret societies and other secret societies that are not openly satanic, such as the Freemasons and the Vatican. These groups work cooperatively, seeking to fulfill an ancient prophecy, the return of the golden age of worldwide and open rule. The Illuminati using the powers of the Catholic Church and the European empires, have long sought to crush all records of man's true history, ensuring themselves a monopoly on historic truth. From Russia to Peru, they systematically destroyed the traces of truth they found. The symbolic stories that have slipped through the cracks of this hoarding of historical knowledge have been unfortunately titled and relegated to mythology. For it is truly their burden to destroy and rewrite the past because Without humanity's collective amnesia, we would remember who they are and, just as important, we would remember how powerful and balanced the human could be. As stated earlier, even good magicians believe that the commoner is unworthy of these quote-unquote secrets. And that is a bunch of bullshit. First, it was members of the occult who made these once common truths into secrets. Secondly, they only did so to continue maintaining a power structure using sorcery. And thirdly, just because I didn't hear it from the Dark Brotherhood or see it in a scrying mirror does not mean I should be left with lies regarding things like Atlantis. There is a day coming when the vampires will unveil themselves and walk in the open, but the veil of lies surrounding humanity's past will remain. Unbeknownst to most, the highest achievement for the Satanist is self-deification through magic. In this, the dark powers of magic, namely Lucifer and Lilith, are called upon to perform a quote-unquote surgical operation on the spirit of the Satanist. After being summoned in ritual, these beings bring the participant from the human to the vampiric condition. Vampires favor their own, and often make stars and power magnates out of each other. My guess is that it is hard, if not impossible, to rise through the ranks of the Illuminati while remaining in the human condition. In ritual, the Satanist often evokes these beings and feeds them the life force he has collected from humans. This offering of life force appeases the gods and makes them more willing to perform the transformation or any other duty the Satanist chooses. 
These beings are said to loosen the astral ties, making the worshiper more vampire with each communion. The Satanist will often speak to infernal ones with the highest of reverence, as opposed to the white magician, who is inclined to speak to the demons as servants. The Satanist conducts rituals wearing red or black. In fact, the entirety of a Satanic ritual will be strongly oriented to the colors red and black, whereas a white magician may choose white. In magic, the color white is associated with purity, God, spirit, the guardian angel, and goodness. The color red is associated with life force, blood, and violence. And the color black is related to evil, chaos, the guardian demon, and the unknown. Satanists follow what is called the left-hand path, whereas white magicians, Christians, Muslims, Jews, Hindus, and Buddhists follow the right-hand path. The left-hand path is a belief structure that does not regard any moral issues. It is the negation of morality. In the eyes of a left-hand pather, what they do is not evil, because there is no evil. This does not mean, however, that those of the left-hand path do not believe in the existence of God. By percentage, you will find more believers of God among Satanists than you will find in the general public. Remember, they're worshippers of the fallen angels, and their gods were expelled from heaven into the abyss or chaos by a higher god. So naturally, they must believe in a higher god. Satanism itself is the predatory and pragmatic nature of the vampire turned into a religion whose highest achievement is self-deification. The left hand, or the left side of the body, has always been associated with darkness. In fact, the word sinister comes from Latin, where the word meant left-handed or unlucky. In the Middle Ages, people who wrote with their left hand were thought to be evil and possessed by the devil. In Islam, the tutelary demon assigned at birth always resides invisibly on the individual's left side. What's more, Muslims prefer to do clean jobs such as eating and greeting others with the right hand while relegating the left hand to dirty jobs like cleaning one's house and body. Teachings of the right hand path always include a firm belief in right and wrong and the existence thereof. As stated before, the mark of the beast are those who have sold their soul to Satan in exchange for vampiric transformation. This is also called making the black pact or oath. Those endowed with the mark of the beast can easily change into the shapes of animals. There is also much speculation about the number 666 and its true meaning, but among Satanists it has but one meaning, achieving a sort of godhood. The phoenix bird or the dung beetle is often used symbolically to refer to death and rebirth and its ritual. It is also worth noting that people who have undergone the ritual of death and rebirth refer to themselves as an antichrist. The term antichrist could be used both as a reference to Satan in the flesh or a reference to a person who has had imparted to him a bit of Satan himself. Those who have become antichrists have a conscious connection to both their guardian angel and their guardian demon. This ritual can test the limits of one's sanity and can even induce insanity. Being joined with and having conscious control of both of your guardian spirits is often symbolized by the colors white and black in close proximity. The two pillars, the checkerboard patterns, and similar arrangements represent the perfect spiritual being, humanity deified. The two trees from the Garden of Eden represent the celestial Sephiroth and the infernal Sephiroth. In the east lies the tree of life, and in the west lies the tree of knowledge. In replacement of white and black, union of the angelic and the infernal may also be symbolized by the concepts of east and west, east being the divine direction while west is the infernal direction. A double-headed eagle looking left and right is an example of this. It also happens that satanic rituals are often oriented towards the west. The angelic counterpart and the angelic race in general is often symbolized by the sun which represents the masculine principle of life. The demonic counterpart and the demon race in general is associated with the moon and the feminine principle of life. So naturally, an androgynous or hermaphroditic figure like that of Baphomet is used to symbolize a perfected human.
The Sabbat is a gathering of witches, warlocks, demons, and in the earthly Sabbat, even humans. There are generally two types of gatherings that are called Sabbats, the Celestial Sabbat and the Infernal Sabbat. Even though sorcerers are always congregating in their astral bodies, there are four major meetings a year, and these meetings are called Sabbats. The Celestial Sabbat is a gathering of astral beings in a place called and associated with the Sphere of Saturn. It is also worth noting that Shabbatai is Saturn in Hebrew. It is likely that the words Sabbat and Sabbath derive from the Hebrew word Shabbatai. Further, Jews and Seventh-day Adventists consider Saturday, the day associated with Saturn, to be the true day of Sabbath, as opposed to most Christians who worship on Sunday. In truth, it is Sunday and the sun in general which is more closely associated with Jesus and goodness, whereas Saturn is more associated with Satan, death, and evil. The Infernal Sabbat is a gathering that happens here on Earth, but most who attend arrive in an astral body. This earthly Sabbat, sometimes called the Black Sabbath, usually occurs in remote and secluded places. It is sometimes the case with the earthly Sabbat that those who attend arrive in their fleshly bodies. Most vampires who arrive to the Sabbat do not arrive in the flesh, but instead in an astral, quote-unquote, God form. A God form is an astral body that has been temporarily converted into that of an ancient god or animal. God forms are archetypal forms whose image is predetermined. God forms must be used with caution, however, as the nature of the magician will slowly be consumed by the nature of the ancient god or animal frequently invoked. The field of astral energy that changes one's appearance is called glamour. The Sabbats are a celebration of all that is wicked and unholy, allowing these sorcerers to indulge in things they cannot in their day lives. Their day life being a suit and tie government job, for instance. It is a massive gathering of demons and humans who have come to fornicate and make merry with each other. Many of the stories and accounts of what occurs at the Sabbat comes from modern day satanic texts and from the records of the witch trials and inquisitions of the Middle Ages. Despite the fact that there were many forced confessions, the attending witches told an extremely consistent story regarding the details of the Sabbat. The earthly Sabbat tends to be held in secluded places such as fields, abandoned buildings, atop mountains, and mostly at midnight. The area 